are in Zanzibar at the Hotel Rio Palace in Nungwe. Just did two nights in Stonetown at a really cool historic hotel. And then after our stay here at this all-inclusive, we're heading to another part of the island for another small boutique hotel stay. So if you're interested, those videos are going to be linked in the description below. We are here in the junior suite courtyard view was the cheapest one they had and it's really nice it's renovated and then we're right in front of a kind of quiet pool with this really big balcony that seems kind of a waste got a big old balcony and we've got a pool right out here and down to the beach I see Gatorade blue water uh, PS it is downhill to get to the front so it's gonna be uphill going back <laughs> So we would like to officially notate that the drinks are strong. It is not watered down alcohol like in Mexico. We've had what, two drinks? Yeah. And we feel it. Feels good. So now we're just chilling by the pool, drinking our Zanzibar Blues. Zanzibar Blues. Definitely come and go up to the beach bar and ask for Huh. As for a Zanzibar Blue, I don't know what it is, but it's delicious and you should definitely have one. Snacky snacks. I feel like that guy on that TikTok where he's like sitting there wanting to eat dinner and his girls. Oh, she's like, yeah, she's that. like standing up and like getting the angles. Yeah. No. The one right there, honey. Hold on. There's two behind you. It's me mugging you. Hi, bud. to go kayaking. It said it was over at 1700, 5 p.m. Yeah. <laughs> and we got down to the thing at 4 o'clock and they said, I'm sorry, we've already closed. So I'm assuming they close up shop at 4 yeah. and if you're already out, you have to be back by 5. And evidently the, let's see, kayaking and the paddle boarding are included in the state yeah. here. You just have to pay extra for like a jet ski or if you want to do scuba diving. It's probably a good thing we didn't do the stand-up because I saw a list of fees if you lose said stand-up shit and yeah. it was pretty bright. Yeah, she's cold. Okay. She's cold because she's sunburned. Yeah. Because she don't wear sunblock. Yeah. She thinks she's a mic color. Yeah. I put on six layers of 70 on my face. Oh. <laughs> fish to me. Does he have teeth? Yes. What? <laughs> Good, Good morning everyone. The weather is cloudy. It looks really stormy but it should be good this afternoon. It's like 6 a.m. every trip we get up at the ass crack of dawn and go down to the beach so we can fly the drone and get some photos in my flying dress without everyone staring. So we're gonna go do that and then grab some breakfast. got low tide right now. During low tide there's this beautiful beach area. However, uh, when the tide is up, the water went all the way up to the first couple rungs of those stairs um, and we were swimming about this area and it was up to our chest. So it's kind of cool that the tides change and you can have the best of both worlds honestly.
we successfully flew the drone, although it did get attacked by a bird. It lived the bird and the drone. <laughs> the resort was fine with us flying the drone as long as we kept it on the beach and water area and they just don't want it up in the hotel area, which makes sense. We did though um, get a visit from a beachy boy, which is a local trying to again sell us a tour, take us to an attraction, and he would not go away. So we kind of cut that short. Um, we're gonna definitely go get some breakfast now. Highly recommend coming down for the breakfast buffet. There is room service breakfast. Um, you just have to put out a little tag in your door before 11 with what you want, but it was very limited. So uh, worth the walk down the hill. Unfortunately, you've come to the right table to bed. Oh, hi, buddy. Ah. We were eating breakfast. And we've been blessed. Hi, buddy. Ah. You're a good beggar. Do they just know that I'm a cat lady? Can you sense it? Can they smell it on me? <laughs> the other one came and attacked them. Oh, Bad kitty. Isn't that nice? Um, what did you just say to me? Don't feed the wildlife. So rude. Everyone needs to try the African glass bottle Fanta. It is so good. Way better than American Fanta. Says YouTube and we have confirmed. Don't throw your bottles away. Try not to break them. Especially if you bring them to the pool. Oh you don't God, be that person. So dumb. You don't be that person. Someone was yesterday. So, I'm gonna go take us back. Hmm. It is so quiet at this back pool. But also I feel like no one's here. Like the restaurant was full last night but we have not seen many people out and about in general. And I think we have maybe like five or six neighbors among these two big buildings. So it's really nice. So our plan for today, we're going to chill by this pool in the quiet area for a bit. And then probably when high tide comes up, we're going to head back to the beach and go swimming in the ocean again. Just really didn't want to be down there at low tide because of the beach boys. And tomorrow we're probably going to go see the sea turtle aquarium and check that out and swim with the turtles. And then on Tuesday, we check out and head to the next resort, which I think Tuesday is gonna be the last nice day weather-wise, and then it's supposed to rain at our final resort for two days, so I'm so sad. But we're traveling during shoulder season, so that's, you know, that's the game to play. I have no idea how you say the name of this drink. They had it on a list. It looked like Chi Piranha or something like that, which obviously isn't right. But it's some sort of Brazilian lime drink. And it's good. So get this and the Zanzibar Blue drink. So, we just left the room after a little break. Lizard! Look at that big boy! Oh, there he is! Look, his name's Larry. Oh, how, how thrilling. Anyway. Heading down to the pool by the ocean, the main pool. We went to the pool by our room, which is up towards the front of the resort. It was quiet. It was okay. Meh. Um, nowhere to lounge out at in the water. So if you're lounging, you gotta lay in the chair, which they cover with a, you know, a drape over the cabana. So if you're someone who doesn't want to be in the sun all day, it's a good spot. Or if you want something that's a little bit more quiet. It's definitely the spot, but we're going down to the pool by the beach. I didn't um, like it. I want to see the blue ocean water. Yeah, came here a lot for the view. Old people do. Yeah, definitely a lot of older folks. So, like I said, if you want something quiet, that's definitely <laughs> the spot. But we want to go down and see the view. That's why we came. Yeah. You can get an idea of the walk down. It's steep. We just started. <laughs> that's the main lobby up there. I guess the cheaper the room, the higher up the hill you are. Now we are drinking the Zanzibar Blue. Don't know what it is, but it's blue and it's delicious. Look at the beach pacas. This is so cute. Oh my god. 
mommy and baby. Oh, hi, buddy. He loves you, honey. Oh my God. I'm so fucking jealous right now. It's not even funny. David's tan, day two. Dark. I'm still pasty as can be. We're gonna name this cat Paca, which means cat. That's why you mean. So the cat's name is Cat, basically. <laughs> It's another beautiful day here in paradise in Zanzibar at the Ryu Palace. Today we're gonna head down to the beach, take some beach photos, which we tried to do yesterday, but um, the beachy boys would not leave us alone. And then today we've decided not to go see the turtle aquarium. I was reading some different reviews and it's just all the way down negative about kind of how the turtles are treated and how it was disappointing and I just decided let's not go so I'm going to just be drinking swimming and hanging out today you say you don't want to get in trouble that you don't find this you Break your little bubble, but you gotta wake up to reality. Cause I can see in your eyes, your head is full of dreams. Tears are a proof of failure. You just gotta let them flow without judge. There's so many ways to be happy. You can do whatever. We just had some breakfast and we're all packed up and we're gonna go check out. Looks like we have a two hour drive ahead of us to get over to the East Coast at the Pingway um, town where Hotel Matlai is located. So uh, here we go. 